Hey guys, welcome to Star Wars Theory, and today we're going to talk about um, kind of a meld of things, which I've never really done on the channel, but kind of excited to see where it goes, so let me know if you'd like this kind of content. I think, of course, Game of Thrones, uh, you know, it ended, and a lot of people didn't like the way it ended, I myself didn't like the way it ended, and I believe there's a reason for that, and I believe it ties into Star Wars. Now, I could be completely wrong, and of course, that just, you know, pays homage to the fact that this channel is called Star Wars Theory, uh, and I'm kind of hiding under that blanket here, but... I think the reason the entire show was so rushed, and this is you know something that a lot of fans, millions of fans are actually saying. I believe there's a petition out there voting to have a Game of Thrones Season 8 redone. Um, I think the frustration that a lot of people feel are that you know we had 10 years built up to this big battle of Winterfell with you know the, the Ice King and all that stuff, and they come in there and just boom, like that, like Snoke, gone, dead, finished, simple. And then, you know, they have the fight uh, with Cer Cersei and all that stuff. And it's just like, it's all seems all very rushed and very quick. And a lot of the characters don't feel like themselves, which they've kind of built themselves up to be for the last 10 years. And I think, you know, regardless of them wanting this ending or not, I feel like the whole thing was rushed. And we can't deny that. It felt rushed. The whole thing with, you know, the, the coffee cup and then the water bottle. If you guys didn't notice, there's a water bottle uh, in season, in the last episode of season eight, uh, below someone's feet, behind someone's feet. And it's it just seems like, you know, they never had these kind of mistakes really in the earlier seasons. And I love the show. I think the show was extremely brilliant. And I thought it was very, very well done. The ending, of course, it wasn't crap, but it just felt a little rushed for me. You know, they could make, you know, 12 episodes and explain more. But I believe that they didn't because they have a timetable. They have a time schedule. And the reason, you know, for rushing everything is because that the writers have to go and start the Star Wars movie, which will begin in 2020, which will be launched in theaters in 2022, which I'm very excited about. You know, I'm not writing them off. I think they're great writers, obviously. However, the last season, of course, it did leave me a little underwhelmed. And uh, I know a lot of people share the same feeling. That being said, I think... When it comes to Star Wars, you know, should be we should we be worried? That is the main question, the main premise of kind of this video here. Is should we be worried that, you know, they lead us to this 10-year arc, this beautiful story, and they do it so, so eloquently and so well, then they just quickly rush it and literally subvert a lot of our expectations with a lot of the characters and the deaths of, you know, the, the Ice King and the Night King and, and just kind of, you know, leave us like, what the heck just happened? You know, 10 years all gone and like that. And that's how a lot of people with The Last Jedi felt because it was just, they showed different characters that weren't supposed to act a certain way, at least from what we were used to for the last 40 years or so. And especially with Snoke being this big bad guy, he just like that dies. And I believe there's a reason for Snoke dying very quickly because he's nothing, he's just a minion. Um, and you know, he'll come back or, uh, Palpatine's controlling him or something like that, but that's neither here nor there. So I believe the reason for this is because they have the timetable. Now, should we be worried that they are going to basically quote unquote ruin the next uh, Star Wars film after episode nine? Because this is going to be the first Star Wars movie after episode nine in 2022. And uh, Bob Iger himself has said that he has quoted that they will be the ones that will be taking the first Star Wars movie after Rise of Skywalker, and uh, that's all he's, that he's going to say about that. So with this turnout of Game of Thrones Season 8, a lot of people are very confused. And if you are a Game of Thrones fan and a Star Wars fan like me, then you're kind of like second guessing. You're like, well, we got a great 10 years except for the last season, which was just rushed and kind of strange. And then we get these guys going into making Star Wars movies. So it's like, how do I really feel about this? So the question remains, should we be worried about Star Wars? You know, we have these talented writers that wrote and uh, directed the Game of Thrones show, not the book, and they are now going to be going into our world, which is Star Wars. You know, what's going to happen? They obviously left a bit of a weird bad taste in our mouth with season eight. So will they do the same thing at the end of, you know, their trilogy, which would be, you know, whenever it would be? I think the proper answer here is I hope not, <laughs> but I believe to back up the claims for that would be that we have the Lucasfilm story group. You know, there are a lot of people, and but whether you like them or not, their stories or not, we have to realize that a lot of people involved in the story group are the people who have made Star Wars what it is today. So 
that means, you know, the good and the bad, however you want to see it. If you see it as all good, then great. If you see it as, you know, bad with some good, well, they were part of some of the good as well. And I believe that if these writers are to do something that would maybe take a completely different turn for Star Wars, or at least a different turn for the story that they'd be creating, I would hope that the Lucasfilm Story Group would, you know, come in there and corral them to uh, possibly a direction that would be more favorable to Star Wars lore, to Star Wars in general, and to storytelling in general. Because at the end of the day, I feel like Lucasfilm are great storytellers. And that's kind of what Star Wars is. You know, George Lucas was a great storyteller. And he's written, he's written great stories. So I feel like there are a lot of people who are very true to George Lucas style of Star Wars. Whether you're a Disney Star Wars fan or a George Lucas Star Wars fan, at the end of the day, it's still Star Wars. And there are people that are going to be having, you know, one facet of a belief and the others that will have the other and they will come together to meld this kind of alloy that will hopefully give us something that is very cool and I can't be more excited for it. You know what, at the end of the day, I'm pretty stoked for the Game of Thrones writers to be writing something for Star Wars. I think they're very talented and, you know, if they had a little more time, then, you know, <laughs> hopefully, uh, you know, season eight would have uh, turned out a little bit different. But at the end of the day, that is in the past, and it is what it is. So I hope that the next Star Wars movie will be great. I hope it will be uh, everything that we want it to be, and I hope it'll be about the Old Republic, because let's be real, we're missing that, and we need that in Star Wars. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think the Game of Thrones show writers are going to come into Star Wars in 2022 and give us something that's really awesome, that makes a lot of sense? I think they will. Or do you think at the end of their trilogy, they're going to basically change a lot of the characters around and rush it and make it just feel a little bit confusing like they did with season eight? I hope not, you know, and I hope that the Lucasfilm Story Group, as I said, will corral any sort of decisions like that that may not make sense with characters to, you know, make the characters and the story meld together and make sense. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope they come in there and they blow our socks off. And you know what? They did for 10 years. So I we can't really judge them on one rushed end of the season, which of course, you know, I really was not happy with it. But uh, maybe, you know, maybe there's a learning curve. Maybe they learn now what people like with stories and, you know, they're going to kind of corral themselves to make something that they, you know, we would really enjoy. So uh, even more than all of Game of Thrones. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And as always, may the force be with you.